This is our tucker trawl net. What we use it for is getting a discrete sample from a certain depth in the water column with the idea that plastics are submerged in the water column and we want to know where they are. We send the net down closed, then we send out a messenger which opens the net. We tow the net for 15 minutes and then we send out a messenger Slam! and close the net. Ah! <laughs> The basic principle behind the tucker trawl is that we can get a discrete layer of the ocean. Starting the net closed, opening it, and then closing it. Right now we're trying to get about three or four meters below the surface with the idea that when the wind blows and the turbulence acts on plastics in the ocean, they get mixed downwards. So they're not all at the surface, they, they're distributed throughout the water column. The way that we trigger the mechanism which opens and closes the net is via what's called a messenger, which is basically a lead weight that we strap onto the wire and throw it down. It travels down the wire and hits the release mechanism once, triggering one net to drop, and then we throw another messenger down. USA, number one! Boom! To close. What are you keeping on this one? What's the depth on this? Like three to five. Five, yeah. The results from the Tucker Trawl have been that we've gotten plastic almost every toe at five meters and every toe at 10 meters depth, which means that there's undoubtedly plastic mi being mixed down into the water column at five and 10 meters. So this is the communication port. We go retrieve data, stop logger, and it goes doo -doo 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 -doo, and it's downloading the last you know hour. Just like a normal CTD gives us salinity, temperature, depth, and then from that we calculate density. Ultimately, we're trying to see how deep the Tucker Trawl went because, you know, until we upload this, we just have an idea of how many meters out we had the wire. But the Tucker Trawl, once we open it, it rises way up in the water. Once we close it, it goes down. And so we want to know when it was open where it was in the water column. What we want is enough data that we can really, really show that the plastics getting mixed down. And maybe there's some correlation with wind speed or number of plastics at the surface and what's at depth. So we just need to get as many samples as possible.